A story has been circulating the Irmo community about a woman who was recently arrested due to her yard. Street Squad spoke with Allison Johnson today about what happened. I, I think I was treated very unfairly. Johnson says she received a ticket and fine about the condition of her yard. According to the documentation we received from the Irmo Police Department, she was given an abatement notice about her lawn under the town ordinance of unsanitary, unsightly conditions back in January. The original the original ticket fined her just over $1,000. And when I went to court, she dropped the fine down to $100. And I told her that I would be able to pay it September 1st. And that was as soon as I could pay because I do not work. They said that I missed a court date that I never got anything in the mail about. And the last time I was there, the judge was yelling and was not very polite. And um, I guess doesn't remember telling me a date or something. They came five minutes after she signed my warrant and they came and arrested me for a hundred dollars that I hadn't paid yet and sent me to jail and were going to hold me for 10 days even if it was paid or not. It was all because of a little bit of a mess of my yard. According to the incident report, Johnson attended her assigned court date on March 27th and was given the choice of 10 days in jail or a fine of $101.88. She was then put on a payment plan. They had given me a couple warnings and I did do what I was supposed to do and then I went to court and I told her, you know, I don't work. You know, I try to explain all that to her. I'm a single mom. I do what I can. Then I guess she said I missed a court date that I didn't know I had because I literally never got anything in the mail. And then... Like I said, five minutes after she signed over um, the thing, they were here and arrested me, and all it said was failure to comply. Irmo police would not comment on this story. We also reached out to the town's administration and have not yet heard back. For Street Squad Irmo, I'm Emily Carell.